Good evening, we begin ABC 12 News at 6 as McLaren registered nurses are preparing for a solidarity work. Thank you for joining us. I'm Angie Hendershot. This comes as the local 875 Union and McLaren Flint continue contract negotiations. Our Alyssa Irwin explains what nurses are hoping for. Monday at 3.30 is a planned solidarity walk for the nurses union who are currently fighting for a new contract with McLaren. A retired registered nurse I spoke with who wished to remain anonymous said the current contract for registered nurses expires at the end of the month. They explained nurses are still fighting the same battle as years ago. Well, this is kind of crisis mode for the yeah. nurses. Even back then and even now, the biggest issue is patient safety. Nurses are hoping for safe staffing ratios while wanting to avoid nurse burnout and ensure nurse retention. The RN is ultimately responsible for everything that is or is not done for that patient. And that could be the difference in life or death for you or for your loved one. That makes a difference. They explained nurse patient ratios are not mandated in Michigan like some other U.S. states. The retired RN said COVID changed many different aspects for nurses, including lack of retention and more patients. COVID was um, very hard to deal with. And again, we had we had to kind of fight for everything we got. It's why there is a planned walk next week, hoping for support, which could lead to a possible strike. We are taking a strike vote on Monday. The last time McLaren Flint nurses threatened a strike was November of 2020, asking for similar safety issues that put the staff and the community at risk to be addressed. McLaren Flint provided ABC 12 with a statement saying in part, quote, Bargaining can be emotional and difficult, but we hope the time at the bargaining table will create a pathway, not only to a quality contract for our nurses and our organization, but will foster a more collaborative approach to address our mutual challenges in health care. McLaren also said the hospital is prepared to continue services for the community, regardless of the status of negotiations. For the full statement from McLaren, visit this story on our website, abc12.com. I reached out to the nurses union. According to the union president, they cannot speak on matters until tomorrow. They must provide a 48 hour notice. That letter was sent to McLaren last night. Here in Flint, I'm Melissa Irwin with ABC 12 News.